Jack Ainsby comes into tonight's contest with an outstanding 7-0 record. Danvers comes in at 4-2. These teams met earlier in the season where Ainsby posted a 57-34 victory. Long shot. So Danvers gets on the board first here. Deep in the corner, long shot. A three is up and good by number two, Kiara Sullivan. So Ainsby comes right back with the uh, answer. Back outside. To Shot up by McKenna. McKenna, no good. Rebounded nicely by Redford. Redford throws it up and in. Good rebound and nice shot by Gabriella Redford for the Indians. Here's, uh, Sullivan. Sullivan gets it underneath to uh, Redford who lays it up and in. So Redford leading all scorers now for the Indians with four points. Inside to Chisholm. Chisholm is quickly double team, makes a nice move towards the hoop, and it's blocked from behind by Napoli. But Napoli. Back outside to Messenger. Messenger from downtown. It's off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Napoli, quickly out, and a beautiful forward pass all the way down to Avery Hallinan, oh, up wow. and in. Nice move to the hoop. Quickly down court to DeLong. DeLong throws it up and... Need to slow yeah. things down a little bit and Ains take control Ains of the just putting it in. Shot is up and no good by Kremelowitz. Again, rebounded. But taken away by the Indians, Napoli from the key. It's good. I'm sure Coach uh, Greg Dallas will uh, get the Indians settled down here, and I think for both teams, it, they need to probably slow down a little bit and work some sort of, uh, you know, standard offer. So Yeba leading all team of scorers. Nice pass inside again by Napoli, up and in by number 11, Avery Hallen, and beautiful feed again by Allison Napoli that time. Surprise, Frank, they don't go to the big girl. She's, she's really got more. Well, he's really collapsing pretty well on him. Here comes Napoli out of the corner, down to number 23, up and in is Izzy Cambisi, who gets on the board for the Indians. That makes it 17 to nine. Cambisi back outside to Napoli. DeLong is in there now for the Indians. Napoli driving through the whole smeal and lays it up and in. 
So a nice drive by Allison Napoli. Split the defense that time. Deep in the corner, a shot is up and no good by Cambisi. Rebounded underneath, up and in by. That's McKenna. McKenna, Helen in. Messenger fires up, no good. Again, Allison Napoli all over the court. Just looking for that loose ball, that's all she's doing. Napoli drives the lane, scoops it up and in. Inside to uh, Wall Wallerman. Wallerman loses control, and here comes uh, McKenna Helen. And McKenna spin shot up and in. Great move by McKenna. Amesbury 27, <clears throat> Danvers 11. We'll be back with section, second half action after this intermission. Sullivan inside. <clears throat> this pass is knocked off and taken away by Chisholm. Chisholm going all the way in, round, and throws it up, and it's stuffed by Napoli. Shot is up and good, good by number two, Kiara Sullivan from downtown. That's her second three of the night. Quickly down court come the Indians. Sullivan outside to Napoli. Napoli's going to try three and it's good. Wow. Napoli just sweet. Shot that time, sweet swish. It's picked off again by <clears throat> Avery. Avery all the way down, throws it up, no good, gets her own rebound, fires it outside. McKenna with a move left handed. Swish shot again, a nice scoop. Throw up a three, it's no good. Rebound, gets her own rebound. That's what happens when you follow the shot and who's there to pick it off? Allison Napoli. Napoli, a little quick move. Look to the defender off around the corner and in. Controlled by the Indians. Back inside to DeLong. She shoots at the buzzer. It's no good. So that'll end the half. Second shot is no good. Quickly down court. 
Comes McKenna, throws it off the side, and nice shot at a layup that time by number 22, Gabriella Redford. Quickly comes Napoli. Napoli looking down court. To DeLong, deep in the corner. DeLong gets it over to Lafort. Lafort off the glass, no good. Nice rebound underneath that time by 24. Hollow. And again, the ball was stolen away by number 23 for the Indians. Up and in by Izzy Cambisi. <laughs> thing we should mention here, Mary Bullis, number 15 for the... Uh, Indians, I forgot to mention this earlier, but uh, has been out with a knee injury and uh, chances are <clears throat> she conceivably could be out for the rest of the season, which is a big blow, big loss for the Indians because Mary, a uh, veteran player for Ainsbury. Picaro deep in the corner. DeLong's gonna throw it up again. This time she hits the three. The Long has been trying that one all night, and she finally drops it in, and that's going to be the ball game. Like I said, I've seen them play uh, a few games already. This is our first broadcast, but uh, they've usually they've started off slow in at least the first quarter, first half, and then they've settled down and, and been able to, uh, you know, do their job. They, the toughest game they've had so far was last game against Linfield, which they won by only eight points. <laughs> Whatever they're doing, it's working. It's and working. It's, that's right. That's that, exactly it. And they are now eight and all, oh, so you can't. Comes into tonight's contest with a formidable eight and all oh record. The Vikings are one and six on the season. On paper, Ainsbury is set to dominate tonight's game. McKenna Helen and driving to the lane, rebound is put up and in by number 22, I believe, that time, Gabriella Redford. Masco, that, that, that would never happen. Quick fast break and another nice block over there by McKenna Allen in that time. Started by Avery McKellen in Napoli from outside. It's good. Four three. Pass inbounds and up and off the glass by number 11, Avery Hallinan. Nice play that time by the Indians. <laughs> 15 to 11, so again, Triton still within striking distance. Napoli is going to drive the whole lane, drops it off nicely. Up and in by number 22, Gabriel Redford. Great feed that time by
Cambisi puts it into uh, Kremelowitz. Cambisi drives baseline, stops, pops. Beautiful move that time by number 23, Izzy Cambisi. That's her fifth point. Drops it off for Napoli. Napoli gets it in the middle to Cambisi. Cambisi spins off the glass and in. So all of a sudden, Izzy Cambisi with seven points here in this quarter. Dribbling down the corner, drops it off for a. Jamison Karen, the ball is stolen by Catherine LaFort. LaFort drops it off to Cambisi. Nice look again by Catherine LaFort that time. So Easy starting to Starting to put a little speed on here. They go. Now the steal, Cambisi throws it up and in. 11 points here in the second quarter by uh, Izzy Cambisi. Starting to Starting slowly. Starting to put a little speed on here. They go. Now the steal. Cambisi throws it up and in. 11 points here in the second quarter by uh, Izzy Cambisi. Nice rebound underneath that time by the Indians. Cambisi for three! Cambisi hits her second three in the second quarter. All scoring pretty much by Izzy Cambisi for the Indians. So at the half, the score, Ainsbury 32. And Triton 13. So a good quarter for the Indians as they scored 22 points that time. Caitlin White with the ball, leading all scores for Triton. White trying to get it inside, it's picked off again by Redford. Redford all the way down to Avery Hallinan, up and in. Can't say enough about Gabrielle Redford's defense tonight. She has been outstanding. Throws it up off the rim, rebounded nicely by Avery McKenahan. Helen, a nice down pass to Cambisi, and she is fouled. So, Izzy Cambisi with 16 big points will go to the line for another one. A great look down court again that time by Avery Helen. Inside to uh, Redford. Redford lays it up and in. Kimball's pass is in turn picked off by who else? 
Redford leaves it up left handed and in. So an all around great game tonight by <clears throat> Gabriella Redford. Quickly down court. LaFort cross court to DeLong. Gambisi fires a three and it's good. Check that. Redford. Redford. DeLon gets it over to uh, Redford who throws it cross court to McKenna. Allen and McKenna, no good. Redford with the rebound underneath. Throws it up left handed and in. So the second period belonged to Izzy Cambisi for the Indians. The third quarter belongs to Gabriella Redford. Nine and three is 12. Okay, 12 big points that time by Redford in that quarter alone. That gives her 18 on the night to lead all scorers. Shot is up, no good. Rebound controlled by the Indians. Here comes uh, McKenna Hallinan. McKenna's foul, drops it off to number 13, Catherine LaFort, and LaFort gets on the board for the Indians. Speed inside, but again picked off by Redford. Redford running the court. Slows it down, stops, pops off the front of the rim. Hollow with a rebound. It's up and good. Ava Hollow, great job off the boards that time as she gets on the scoreboard. with 11. Catherine LaFort had two. Allison Napoli had four. Gabriella Redford led all scorers with 22 points. Izzy Cambisi had an outstanding game with 17 points and Ava Hollow ended up with two for a total of 58. Interestingly enough uh, for the Indians Redford and Cambisi took up the scoring tonight and uh, Napoli Ended up with only four points. So uh, some balanced scoring, though, as Avery Hallinan also had 11. <laughs> Ainsby comes into tonight's contest having uh, qualified for the state tournament with a 13-1 record. And on paper, they are really set up to dominate tonight's game. Swampscott will have a lot of work to do to keep up with the Indians. What are you looking for? Two, three, sometimes a three, two, and there's 11. Going one in. Shot up and good by Avery Hallinan. So both of these teams feeling each other out here a little bit in the opening moments. Nice pass underneath. Up and in by, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Avery Helen. Uh, nice shot by Avery. She's uh, getting used to being underneath that hoop. Good look. Well, Ali 
Riley trying to come back, but Avery misses. Off the line again. Nice rebound underneath by McKenna Helen and lays it up and in. Napoli quickly down court. It's going to take the three. It's good. Ooh, beautiful shot. By nice shot from the top of the key. So Mattello with four points here. One minute straight up in the first half quarter. Napoli's going to take another three. No good. Rebound controlled nicely by number 11, Avery Hallinan, in the right spot at the right time. Thirty seconds remaining in the first quarter. Cambisi drops it off in the corner to DeLong who's in there. Cambisi splits the defense, throws it up, gets her own rebound, spins off the glass and in. Nice move, that's what you do. You follow your shot, that's what happens. Napoli picks it up and fires a oh. bomb off the front of the rim, but it's no good. So after one, the score will be Ainsbury 13, Swamps get 12. So it's, a, it's kind of a, it, it'll be interesting to see what happens in the second quarter. Ainsbury not getting their shots in. and The long from downtown. Uh, two pointer. <clears throat> He's going to go all the way, scoops it up and in. Oh, good, rebounded by Avery. Quickly down to uh, number 22 for the Indians, Gabriella Redford, up and in. Okay. Napoli tries to feed it down court. It's off one player, but it's up and in by DeLong. So DeLong gets on the board for his second basket. Outside to uh, Hudson. Hudson has it taken away and here comes uh, Cambisi, Cambisi switches hands, throws it up off the glass, no good. Followed up nicely, and finally up and off the glass by Napoli. And, and again, Napoli just comes from out of nowhere, steals the ball, runs the court, lays it up, puts it in. Six big points here for Napoli in it's the half. second quarter. Napoli drops it off to DeLong. DeLong gets it back. Drops it off outside to uh, Sullivan. Sullivan driving, goes underneath the basket, drops it off for uh, McKenna. McKenna scoops it up and in.
where I started just going down low and driving the, the hole and putting it in the layup. And the, the, what more can you say than that? That's the difference in the game right now. Napoli closely guarded by Gracie, Maddie Hudson. Drops it off, gets it over to uh, Avery. Raise it up and in. What a drive that time by Avery Allen in. As she literally split the defense. Hudson has it taken away by who else? Napoli. This time, Allison lays it up and in. Controlled by Grace Hudson. And who takes it away again? Napoli. Napoli spins to the hoop, lays it up, off the glass and in. That's just basketball. Napoli's gonna drive the lane, lays it up and in, all the way in. LaFord outside to uh, Kamelowitz into LaFort, back to Kamelowitz. Kamelowitz for a three, it's good. So nice give and go back and forth that time as Sadie Kamelowitz gets on the board with a three pointer. Shut off, back outside, and the ball's picked off by Cambisi. Cambisi on Morgan. Cambisi throws it up and in. <laughs> Napoli. Gets it inside, the shot is up and good by DeLong. Olivia's had a good night tonight for the Indians. She's got six points. Just waiting for the ball. McKenna to put the ball on the play, outside to Sullivan. Back to McKenna, into Napoli. Napoli, wheels and deals, drops it off nicely in the side, DeLong again! Yeah, gotta like that left-handed shot. They gave her two on that one. That was a two. Inside to, uh, oh, Whew. Avery Hellenin just simply powers away into that one. by uh, LaFord, LaFord outside to uh, Avery. Avery scoops that one up and in. A little bit of outside spin on that ball, puts it right into the hole. Avery 
Solomon. Nice pick that time. Inside, Trevelowitz. Avery's gonna drive the lane, throws it up and in. Cambisi feeds it inside, back outside. Nice fake, <laughs> drive the lane. Shot is up nice. and good by... That was number 13. Chris That's Catherine LaFord. Good rebound from that uh, loss to Pentecost the other night. Uh, Ainsby definitely put on a defensive show here. Uh, Absolutely, uh, they they figured it. It didn't take them very long to figure it out. After they couldn't put the ball in with these three-point shots, they went to the hoop, and boy, did they go to the hoop uh, quite a bit. And uh, that made the difference in the game. Uh, they started putting the ball in the hole. be coming into tonight's game with a formidable 13-1 record, having qualified for the MIAA tournament and looking to solidify their position in the standings. The report comes into tonight's game with a 9-4 record and a chance to ensure postseason play with a victory. Napoli quickly over half court. Napoli's going to go to the hoop, lays it up, and, and in. in. And that's going to be good. So this will be the uh, problem for the Clippers will be in keeping uh, Napoli under control. Just so gonna have to work for everything tonight. Spin shot is up off the glass and in by Avery Hallinan. Nice move by Avery inside. Quickly down court comes Avery Hallen. Avery drives the lane, lays it up and in again. Beautiful full court drive that time by Avery Hallen. Second shot is good. That'll tie the score up at 10 all with 10 seconds remaining. So we got 10, 10, and 10 the early trend is gonna be the team that puts it more <clears throat> into the hoop when they make that drive is gonna be the one that's gonna win this game. Rebound control by Napoli. Nice Napoli all the way to the hoop, lays it up and in this time and she goes down. Avery drops it back outside. Three-pointer is up and good this time by yep. Napoli. So Allison on the board here in the second quarter. Ainsby up by one. Gillingham stops, pops off the glass. Rebound is controlled by DeLon. Quickly down court comes Avery, drops it off. And Avery hits, I'm sorry, that was McKenna down, coming down and Avery pops it in. Ellie 
to set Dilly into the kid in. Nice move that time by Avery Helen in, in fronting number 32, Jessica Russo. Napoli will try the three. Bang! Bang. So Napoli with their second, uh, second three, three corner. Kohini in the corner, drops it off, shot is gonna be shot. Rebound is cleared again. Yeah, that's that's a uh, little motor. Here comes Avery. Avery. Drops it off nicely to Redford who puts, puts it up it and in. in. Nice look that time by Avery Hallinan as she dropped it off. Was double team going towards the hoop. What do you think, Frank? Any uh, any uh, indication on, on well, your part? Well, once again, I think uh, Newburyport's playing some really tough defense. They're so far controlling the boards, both on the offensive and defensive side. So they've got something going in that sense. Uh, Ainsbury's had plenty of looks to the basket, but uh, simply can't put it in. Avery off to Napoli. Napoli tries to get it inside. She does. The shot is up and good. Nice pass that time to number 22, Redford. Redford with four quick points here for the Indians. To Napoli. Napoli's going to spin, throws it off in the corner. Redford's going to throw up another one, and it's good. So, number 22, Gabriel Redford going uh, lights out here. with a 10 point lead here. Inside to Avery McKenna. Avery up and in, Hallinan. Gets on the board in the third quarter. with the ball for the Indian. She's gonna throw up a three. Bang! Napoli, that'll be her third three-pointer of the night. Gonna let her shoot, she'll take it. Hartford. Shot is no good. Bounced around, rebound cleared by LaFort. Napoli all the way down court. Redford drops it off. Three pointer is up and good by number two, Kiara Sullivan. So Sullivan gets on the board with a big three pointer. Ford tries to get it into DeLong. DeLong back outside. Shot is up again and in. Two pointer, oh, I, I believe, that time by Redford. Yeah, Redford. Napoli's gonna go, drops it off. Shot is up, in and out, no good by 
McKenna back out to Avery. Avery throws it up no good. Rebound is cleared by, the clip is stolen by Napoli. Up and in. Forty-five seconds remaining here. Inside pass, nicely, partially blocked. And put Up in off by the glass. And Cambisi puts it in. I tell you, Avery has been uh, beaten up here tonight. Redford came in and uh, scored uh, three quick two-pointers for the Indians there to start that third quarter, giving Ainsbury uh, a surprising, at this point, 14-point lead They did. They, they started off really fast, and that was the difference in the game so far. So ah. McElhaney with a three-pointer. Big hoop that time. Yeah. Shot is yeah. in. Inside to Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh drives baseline, has it stuffed by uh, Napoli. Over to Sidney Turner, who's in there now. Ball is picked up by Avery, quickly to Napoli. Napoli back to Avery, nice give and go. That's beautiful. Unselfish basketball results in two points. on the corner, three seconds remaining, the shot is up, no good, rebound is no good. And that's gonna be all she wrote. Interesting game, definitely a game of quarters tonight. The first half uh, pretty well matched in uh, the third quarter. Once again, Ainsbury uh, put the Jets on in the third quarter and somehow came up uh, you know, with a 12 point, point victory, yeah. uh, which didn't look like that was gonna be the case. Ainsbury comes into tonight's contest with a formidable 14-1 record. They have qualified for the MIAA tournament and look to solidify their position in the standings. Maskinomit comes into tonight's game with an 11-4 record and second place in the larger Kinney division behind Pentucket, who was the only team that uh, handed Ainsbury its only loss so far this season. History could be made tonight as Napoli comes into tonight's game with 987 career points. Should she be fortunate tonight, she will join both Ashley Waters and Flannery O'Connor as Ainsbury's only 1,000 point scorers. So sit back and watch the action. This will be a big test for the Indians tonight. And as I said, history could be made tonight. Tap is controlled by the Indians. Over to uh, Cambisi. Cambisi drops it off to Napoli. Napoli drives the lane, throws it up and in. I think she's hungry for that. Last year when um, last year when Flannery O'Connor was going for a thousandth, if you remember correctly, she she got it uh, very quickly. <laughs> well, I'm sure the uh, Indians will do much as much as they can for uh, Allison tonight. <laughs> Napoli trying to go inside, spins it out, 
drops it off to Hallinan. Hallinan baseline Good. throws it up and in. Hallinan so been outstanding all season inside. No good. Napoli skies for the rebound. Quickly up court comes Napoli. Napoli looking to go all the way. Gets it back outside. Shot is thrown up and yes. in. Unbelievable control tough. that time by Avery Hallinan. Tough, no, tough shot by Avery there. I mean, totally lost the footing. It seemed like it somehow was managed to put that up. That's, a, that's just a great effort. Napoli's going to drive it, throw it off the glass, and in. Great job right there. Coach pulled the offense up right there so Ali could take advantage of it. And no good. Napoli with the rebound. Napoli has been all over the court in most of these games so far this year. Outside to Hallen, and Hallen is going to drive again. Throws it up and in. going to be the move tonight, I think. Napoli looking for the screen. She's going to drive. Throws it up off the glass and in. Great job by Napoli getting in the painted area. Jumped off the block and put it off the glass. Watch Ali try to take down a great milestone at Amesbury High School to match only Ashley Waters and Flannery O'Connor in that elite 1,000 point club. Uh, vociferous fans will be here for both both teams tonight. That's going to be on Graves. That'll be her I, second. I don't think the Amesbury students actually thought it was a good call, but <laughs> I thought it was okay. Napoli inside, up and in. <laughs> Getting to the paint had a great chance. Outside to Avery, over the corner to Cambisi. Cambisi, back to Avery Hallinan. Avery drops it off for Napoli. Napoli looking for the screen, going to take the three. It's good! Good. It's good! 999. 999 from Ali Napoli. One point away. So Napoli with a big hoop for the Indians. Amesbury thought tightened up well on the perimeter after the, the opening minutes of the game. And uh, you know both of these teams are here to win. You can you can tell by the way they're playing. Very very well played, good first half. And to uh, Sullivan, Sullivan inside a bounce pass, but back outside the shot is up and no good. Napoli with the rebound, spins, throws it up, and no good. Gets a rebound again, up and it's in. And that'll do it, folks. Allison Napoli will now join. Flannery O'Connor and Ashley Waters as the only three 1,000 point scorers here in Ainsbury Girls Varsity Basketball. Unbelievable. And that took a while. Let's see if they're... We get a nice shot here of that, Allison.
Richardson. Great hand by McKenna Hallen in there. McKenna with the steal, quickly down court. Up and in by number two, Kiara Sullivan. Nice transition that time by the Indians. Napoli right through two defenders, breaks the press, drops it off. The shot is up and good. Off the glass by Kiara Sullivan. Great job by Napoli starting that whole that whole series breaking the press. In the corner with a nice rebound, gets it back into uh, Avery Hallinan. Avery is going to go to the hoop. Nice move by Avery, left-handed up and in. Great, great, great move that time by great Avery Hallinan. Cam BC really kept that, that alive in that series right there. Great hustle by the senior. They've been doing it all year long. In the basket. Into LaFort. LaFort back outside. Avery takes this. There it is. Two pointer. Nice jump shot by Avery Hallinan. She starts finding some more of that in her game. Watch out, Cape Ann League. Gives it off to number five. Oh, Richardson with a good drive. Good and that one's stuffed by Napoli. Picked off by Cambisi, quickly down court. The shot is up and good by number 22, Gabriella Redford. Some great movement that time by the Indians. Great, great bounce pass by Cambisi. doing hopefully some uh, playoff games as they become available here. There's a couple more games left in the season, but uh, this is a big test here for the Indians tonight. No call there. Masco doesn't like it. I thought that uh, there was a foul on that. Avery, bang! Two-pointer by Avery Hallinan. Avery with a sweet looking jump shot right there. A couple times in this game, she's knocked that shot down. Ainsby will take the time off the clock. Over to McKenna Helen and McKenna drops it over to uh, Redford. Redford to Napoli. Napoli looking for baseline. Still gonna go baseline. Throws it out nicely to Avery who has it blocked partially, but. Great job. Napoli just threw the double team and found the open man right in the middle of, middle of the paint. And that's what you gotta do. A nice look off that time by Allison Napoli. Napoli with the steal, feeds it to uh, number 22, Gabriella Redford. So all of a sudden, Ainsbury, six point lead with 50 seconds remaining here. Five minutes. So McSweeney clears the boards. Another timeout is called. Masco timeout. By Masco. 17.7 seconds remaining in this Great. tightly contested contest. Absolutely. But kind of Hallen in that last possession really shutting down Graves. That was 
Avery Hallinan making a living at the line tonight as usual. A little pressure situation here. And cans the first one. Great shot. That'll love, help. Love for these sophomores, a three for three in this tight game. The last three free throws. Redford with two, Hallinan with that one. Those are big points right now. You have to admit, it's pretty quiet in here too when the players are shooting. So both teams showing respect for both all these players. Two big points. Great job. Seven for seven from the line tonight Ames for Ames Avery Hallinan. Shot is partially blocked. Rebound is controlled by Masco. Back outside, Napoli is gonna take it away. Oh, Napoli away. gonna lay it up and no good, but it doesn't matter. The ball game is over. Great job by Amesbury. Great game by Masco. That was a well played, good, good Cape Ann League basketball game. I want to Fra thank Mr. Clay LaFord here for uh, joining me tonight. Yep, yeah, Frank, my pleasure being here. I appreciate the opportunity and uh, love, to, love to be back here again sometime. Well, uh, final time. time, Amesbury 48, Masconomet 42. For the entire Amesbury Community Television broadcast team, this is Frank Grzak saying so long and we'll see you at the next game. between the Ainsbury Indians and the Watertown Raiders in an MIAA Division III North Quarter Final. Ainsbury comes into tonight's contest with an overall record of 18 and two, having drawn a first round by as they are seeded second in the playoffs. Watertown comes in as the number 10 seed with a 10 and 11 record, but they defeated the number seven seed, Latin Academy. What are you looking at? Ainsbury yet to get on the board here with 442 remaining. Inside to Avery Hallen and Avery puts it up and in. It's no good. Rebounded by Napoli. Quickly down court. Napoli's gonna drive it, drops it off. Shot by Avery Hallen oh, is good. seconds remaining in the first quarter. Ainsby could use a hoop here. Throws it up and it's good. So off the bench, in the game, in the hoop. half for the Raiders all the way to Napoli. Napoli goes to the hoop, throws it up and in. And the basket is good, so Napoli twice down the court. Allen and clears the boards. It looked like a few steps were taken. Napoli with a spin move inside, throws it up, it's good! No foul, but Napoli again is just being dynamic here inside so far tonight. trying to go inside again. Cut down, slowed down, and nice block that time by LaFort. <laughs> Quickly double teamed by the Indians and taken away nicely. Quickly down court to Napoli. 
Napoli with another fake move, throws it up and in. Napoli in, out, throws it up. It's off the glass and good. Napoli looking for the foul again, does not get it. Boy. Downtown is up and no good. Napoli clears the boards. Nice pass out here to uh, Redford, Redford's gonna step back. Cross court, outside the shot is up and good! Oh. Number 23, Izzy Cambisi from downtown. We'll see if that's the way that they work it in the second half. Ainsbury has gone around the horn. Uh, they've looked for the open person. They've, they've tried to get it to him. And when they do, they put it up and they put it in. Yeah, we're in the third quarter, but uh, nobody doing anything exciting yet. McKenna drives. He's going to be fouled. Nice inbounds pass up and in by number 11, Avery Hallinan. Nice feed from under the basket. Well, we found somebody that could put the ball in the hoop. Swung around and Good job that time by number two, Kiara Sullivan, to keep that ball alive. Sullivan gets the ball, bounce pass over to Avery Hallinan. Avery drives inside, it's up and good. is knocked out again picked off by the Indians Kiara Sullivan up court quickly drops it off to Napoli she'll throw up a three it's good and she goes down again looking for the foul does not get it and timeout is called by coach Dallas but Napoli 14 points now doing an outstanding job here McKenna Hallinan with the ball for the Indians. McKenna. DeLong shoots it around. Napoli for three, it's good. <laughs> Napoli that time did not fall down. Boy, she drained have. her second three boy, in a row. Drop that ball off if possible, and she does a good job. Inside to Avery, spin move. Avery Hallinan, up and in. Hallinan with a big seven points here in the third quarter. We're going to 
going to have a little presentation here tonight honoring Flannery O'Connor for her 1,000 points. Outstanding player for Rainsbury. Just graduated last year doing a tremendous job for uh, Framingham State College. Allison Napoli, the other 1,000 point scorer for the Indians. Flannery O'Connor's 1,000 and Allie Napoli's 1,000 is at Flannery's. 99% of them were inside the three point line. Over to McKenna Helena. McKenna drops it off. Oh, beautiful pass inside, up and in by Redford. Great look that time by Napoli. Absolutely superb. Once again, she had the open shot. Picked off by Napoli. Napoli to McKenna, nice pass, lays it up, up and in. in. McKenna Helen in, what a beautiful feed again from who else? Number 21, Allison Napoli. So. Arapetian's driving. Nice move and it's rejected by Napoli. Quickly. Oh, and number 11, Avery Hallinan to close that one off. Napoli drops it off to Hallinan. Swings it across court. Back outside, the shot is up and good. Yeah, Three-pointer three -pointer by number 22, Gabriella Redford. Napoli with the ball, throws it cross, cross court to Redford, fires it up and it's good. That's a three pointer. Gabriella Redford, another three pointer. Swings it to Avery. Avery over to Redford. Back to Avery. Helen and off oh, the glass and in. That's using that little square up on the top. Ainsbury will move on to the uh, semifinals in the MIAA Division Three North playoffs. And that'll do it. There's the game for you. Balance scoring again for the Indians between uh, Avery Hallinan and Allison Napoli, and that's something that they're gonna need as they progress in this tournament. As they go through the tournament, they will, because at some point in time, uh, somebody's gonna have a few fouls, too many, and they're gonna have to sit down for a short period and Ainsbury needs that support from uh, the second level, second tier players. First team, second team foul, nice pass inside to McKenna. I'm um, excuse me, Avery Hallinan rebounded up and in by Napoli.
with Mr. Don St. Marie on Amesbury Community Television. Ball is stolen away by Napoli, all the way down the court, lays it up and in. Nice steal by Napoli. So Ainsbury has jumped out to a six to two lead. The ball is stolen on the in pass. Napoli right down the middle again to Avery up and in. Beautiful look off that time. Winthrop's earlier in the year. You know, great passing, good speed. But uh, when it came time to push it in. Napoli quickly double team, gets it off to uh, Avery, throws it up and in. Nice give and go, the shot is up, no good. Rebounded off the boards, nice by Izzy Cambisi, who's in there now. Drops it off to McKenna Howland, she's go baseline, floats one up, oh, beautiful man. float shot that time by number one, McKenna Howland. Ainsbury 12, Napoli drops it off, Cambisi fires from outside, that's gonna be off the front of the rim. No good, take it away nicely into Cambisi, oh. Napoli to Cambisi. So that's good a, hustle by Allen. Nothing but good hustle folks, that's all it is. Shot is up and no good. Rebounded by uh, Napoli. Quickly down court to Cambisi. Cambisi left handed. Up and in. Great look again by number 21, Allison Napoli. Not too close a game as expected. Well, it was at the beginning as both teams tried to find each other out. But as we started to go along, Ainsbury started to pull away. Ball is stripped away nicely by Cambisi. Cambisi will take it all the way in, throws it up oh. off the glass and in. Oh. Cambisi drops it off for Olivia DeLong, who's in there now for the Indians. McKenna Hallinan, top of the key. Nice give and go to Avery, up and in. Over. Beautiful Over. give and go. Taken away nicely, dropped off, up and in by McKenna. Great steal that time by Cambisi on the inbound pass.
McKenna stops, pops. It's good. Oh, nice shot by McKenna Hallen and beautiful touch that time. So with the score, Amesbury 24, Winthrop 13. Nicely rebounded by Napoli. Napoli quickly down court, throws it down. Left-handed, up and in by number 22, Gabriella Redford. Redford goes baseline, drops it outside to Napoli. Napoli thinks about it. Napoli's gonna drive the lane, throws it up and in, and she's gonna be fouled. So Napoli goes through one, two, three defenders that time. So, driving the lane and stuffed by Napoli. <laughs> Napoli's going to take it. No good. Rebound controlled nicely. Over to Avery. Avery spins and it's up and in. Great job off the boards that time by Cambisi. Back out the door, it's partially blocked by Napoli. She takes it away. Napoli behind the back, looking down. Beautiful bounce pass underneath. Up and in by Gabriella Redford. I tell ya, Allison Napoli is all over the place tonight. Great ball control. Quick bounce pass underneath, it's stuffed by LaFort! Beautiful block by Catherine LaFort. Hickam. Um, wow, we're just, uh, just lacking points. All he picked up in that quarter was uh, six points. So Napoli steals the ball, one-on-one -on -one against Moore. Throws it up left-handed and in. Take that. director and cameraman tonight. Another steal, this time by Avery. Avery's gonna go to the hoop, throws it up and in. It's not getting that shot off, she's... Stiglitz going to the hoop, it's stopped again by Napoli. Quickly over to Redford. Redford drops it off to Helen and Helen and stops, pops, it's good. Beautiful stop and pop by Avery Helen and, and Ainsbury drops it up now to 18 points.
in the corner to uh, McKenna, back out. Shot is up and good! Number 13, Catherine LaPorte from downtown. And this should do it. Ainsby's gonna run it out here and come away with a 50 to 28 victory. What started out as being a defensive battle ended up being uh, Ainsby becoming victorious. And the whole deal, I think, Don, was again, Ainsby did it in little chunks. Six points, two points, six points, and they kept uh, Winthrop off the scoreboard for most of the game. Well, and that's the case. Uh, staying away from the, the fouls that are so consistent with it. is the AHS Indians versus the St. Mary Spartans in an MIAA Division III North Final. Ainsby comes into tonight's contest with an overall record of 20 and two, having defeated Watertown and Winthrop. St. Mary's comes in with a 22 and two record, having defeated Austin Prep and Bishop Fenwick. St. Mary's is the number one overall seed in the tournament and Ainsbury is the number two overall seed. These are the two best teams in Division Three North basketball. And Allen and looking inside, nice pass inside. It's partially draw, blocked. Outside, the shot is up and good. A three-pointer by number two, Kiera Sullivan. That three-point shot will put you back in the game very quickly. <laughs> Six, Amesbury three. Napoli, top of the key, tries to feed it inside to Avery again. She throws it up and in. Nice give and go again by Napoli to Avery Hallinan. Nine to seven in favor of the Indians. Avery Hallinan going to the hoop. Unbelievable here. No calls on these plays. The play is going down. You know, they, they keep going to the uh, larger courts as we go up more in the tournament. And uh, and if you don't have a deep team, if you're used to playing five to seven or eight, uh, it can have an effect on the conditioning. And so it'll be interesting to see what happens as we progress along in the game. Quickly double teaming the ball, backing off Napoli. Napoli takes the screen. Napoli looking to get something done, goes baseline, lays it up and in, right down the shoot. <laughs> also have to make sure that they're going to make the right calls. Avery Hallinan driving the lane, throws it up and in. So Avery gets her second basket of the day here. Quickly down court to McKenna Hallinan. McKenna drops it back to Avery. Avery loads it up right and in, left-handed. So Avery Hallinan keeping Ainsbury in this game here, 20 to seven in favor of St. Mary's with 5.15 remaining in the second quarter. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ainsby has uh, yet to really uh, slow down this uh, St. Mary's offense, Don. So Avery at the line for the technical. Shot is up and good. That's good. Oh, That's she's going to get two. She hands them both. Now she's she going to get one. three. Oh, she might. No, she wasn't outside shooting outside. Yeah, she was. She was she driving, okay. yeah. This is the technical. It's going to be three for three. And he's got to be all technicals because... Uh, Boy, that's what you want to give him to. You want a four-point switch. There it is. But uh, I have to admit, I've never seen four in a it's row. It's unique, that's for sure. Four canned in a row. Ainsbury gets the ball back. A hoop here would be very helpful for Ainsbury. Over on the side, inside to uh, Avery. Avery baseline again, up and in. <laughs> Boy, an interesting first half, Frank. Uh, I mean, uh, I have to give Amesbury credit for playing tenacious and, and staying with St. Mary's. The question is, uh, how much is St. Mary's uh, going to allow them to hang around? Oh, no, they... Napoli cans the two foul shots, and there's going to be an offensive foul again on number 24, Avellino. Avellino. Nobody saw that one except me. Over on the side, the shot is up, and three-pointer by number 22, Gabriella Redford. Been known to do that. She gets it going, that would be helpful. 32 to 28, Ainsbury cuts it to four. Over on the deep side to Torres. Torres is gonna drive the lane and... Oh. No call. No call. Ainsbury gets well, the rebound. It's, it's you got to play the way the, call, the official's calling it, so. 318 left in the third quarter to score. St. Mary's 36, Ainsbury 30. One of the nice things about being a, a school. Uh, Napoli spins, throws, throws it up it. and in. Nice move and a good hoop by Allison Napoli. That one was needed by the Indians. <laughs> Uh, St. Mary's only outscored Ainsbury 14 to 11 that third quarter, and again, Ainsbury had some chances that they uh, converted. This would have been a different ball game, but uh, eight points down, still anybody's ball game. Rossi gets her fourth point of the night. Shot is up and in and out, and rebounded by Napoli. Napoli again throws it up, gets banged to the floor. No call. 12. That'll be her fourth. Her fourth. Inside and up to uh, Avery Hellenen. Twelve is out. That's right. Into Avery. Avery has it blocked. Gets her own rebound. Throws it up left-handed and in. So. Avery Hallen and Ben has been the offense so far tonight for the Indians. And St. Mary's up by 12, 51 Six, to 39. It's just run, run, it's running the way we said it would. Off the grassy, grassy shot is up and good by number 22. Torres, and that's probably going to do it for uh, the Indians here. I would think so. Redford fires up, no good. Rebound. Redford drops it off for Hallen and Hallen and all the way to the hoop, throws it up, and it's and good. So McKenna Hallen and that's her first basket of the night. <laughs> We'll clear it 
with 15 seconds to go. Napoli at the top of the key, just wasting time here. Drives through, lays it up and in. Yeah. And that's gonna do it. So Wainsbury will come out with a great season. Their final record will be 20 wins and three losses. Two of those losses to the St. Mary Spartans, number two team in the MIA Division Three North. Final score, final time. St. Mary's 59, Ainsbury 45. For Mr. Tony Noon on camera and Mr. Don St. Marie on color, this is Frank Gerzak saying so long and we'll see you next year. Just